displays images images one inside the other if you guys want to copy my contents if you just copy my code and everything i strongly recommend you just uh, pass the screen and you can type it out type it out uh this this stuff or if i if i've covered all of this in one of my previous some more i mean a majority of this i would have covered in my previous tutorials so have a look at that you'll that uh, you can have the template that templates will be also be available you can have a look at that you can just have a look and let's see if i use anywhere sub figure anywhere hmm. nope i haven't used sub figure in this chapter I haven't used subfigure in this chapter. Let me see methodology. If I used any subfigure in this chapter, nope. I have not used subfigure in this chapter. Looks like I just done everything with mini mini page itself. I guess. Um, now let me look at simulation two. Uh, uh, control F. Nope, I haven't used sub figure at all. But anyway, what the point I'm trying to make is with mini page and sub float, it's possible for you guys to get all your job done. And if you, it's not that non mandatory to include sub figures. But anyway, this get giving you guys a heads up. Uh, sometimes, if you want, you can use uh, sub figures as well to go about with that. And this way, you have your document nice and nice and ready. All you have to do uh, with with this being said, with this being said, with these kind of layout template uh, templates ready, all you have to do is just open any input file. For instance, if I were to just show you my introduction chapter again, this introduction chapter, uh, strictly speaking, it has nothing. It just starts with the section and everything. Just goes on with the content. All you have to do is just just start writing in separate text files and include the link of the files in the main template, like these. And that's it. And that's it. So and when you, and when you compile the files, do not compile the individual chapter. Just compile the main template file over here. Okay. And the order to go about with that: first compile the file with PDF LaTeX, and then Bib LaTeX, Bib LaTeX, uh, and then uh, index, uh, make index, make index. And if we have uh, any other, uh, if you have any other uh, compilation, you can compile that as well. And then after that. Uh, use PDF LaTeX twice or thrice so that uh, all your uh, the entire document is nicely embellished, nicely uh, embellished with all the table of contents, references, and everything taken care of. Okay, this way you this way you have a nice little thesis template ready. So what I'm going to do is that what I'm going to do is that I'll uh, I'll give I'll give I'll keep a copy of this template with uh, I'll put a copy of this template in the repo in the repository repository with all these comments i just i'm just going to comment out these chapters these chapters names okay i'm going to comment out these chapter names so that uh, it will be generic and then i'm going to keep a copy of the abstract and the literature review uh, uh, sorry in the abstract um, the uh, abstract and acknowledgements so that you guys can have a look whereas introduction and everything uh, it is just uh, just follow some follow the content we use for the report class uh, report in one of the, in one of the report uh, you know uh, we uh, how to make in the report tutorials use what use the use the ideas that we used over there and if you want to add figures and figures, course snippets, everything, you can just follow one of my videos. You'll get, you'll get, trust me, you'll understand everything. You'll understand everything. So, with that being said, uh, this tutor, this tutorial on how to write a thesis is over. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you guys have real. Uh, hope you guys, uh, sorry, hope my series, my series was extremely useful for you guys, especially this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. So. Till then, take care. Bye.